If you like strategic games or tower defense, you have to check this out. Hello everybody, it's Martas here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you war pips. And in war pips you have simply tasks. You have to defend this, destroy that, but it's not that easy. As political conflict reaches apex point and nothing else can fix it, we have war between two fractions and now we have to solve any problems that enemy fraction is causing. Also claim territories that are occupied. Enemy spotted. The game is set like in tower defense team where we have two sides of battlefield and selected units will go fight each other as one of side wins. Also, I like that the game has interesting soundtracks, quite heavy but in military setup, to match up the entire climate. If you like this type of music, you will be happy, and if you, it's not for you, you can easily make it quieter in settings menu. Also, one of the coolest things is the visual mix of 3D with 2D, because the entire map, bases and boxes, cars, etc. are in 3D, and they are interactive to explosions, for example. Then our troops and items are in 2D. I think this has two major bonuses. First, is that the game looks more unique, and it's nice to watch. But second, it's easier especially for weaker PC to run this game completely smoothly. At first battles will be small and easy, but later in game there will be a lot of happening at once. Nice. Before start every mission as main commander our task is to choose which part of land we want to attack. And here you can only attack these tiles that are close to your territory. Next, thanks to advanced technology, I don't know, spies, maybe Facebook. We have information about units that will fight against us, which is important to acknowledge. Thanks to that, we have options to prepare our troops and choose which group of and how many of our soldiers will be sent to battlefield. And there is a lot of to choose and also upgrade, so let's look at this. In loadout tab, there are all types of soldiers, like from just basic and weak units to snipers and even dogs. Besides that, game gives us option to select supportive items that we can throw or set its destination on battlefield. Like for example rockets, gas grenades, chemicals drones and much more. Next step of additional items are stationary units, for example mines, heavy machine guns or rocket launchers. Especially the last one will be helpful, and helpful a lot against vehicles and sniper towers that kind of effectively will tag down your troops. The only trivia in stationary units is that you can only set them with range of your front. As far as your units will push battlefield closer to enemy base, we will be able to set sandbags, wires and After every battle that is our victory, we will get coupons and technology chips that allow us to buy troops and items from arms dealer and also upgrade all of your army to make them harder to take down and easier to collect experience, which I will speak about this in a few seconds, and make also our costs of deploying units cheaper. Oh my god! Wow! The last thing is that selected units will be consumed after battle. So every unit in loadout will have number above indicating how much of this unit we have. But for every victory we also get rewards as another unit so you can see what you're gonna get next. As everything is ready, we have simple tasks to get victory. And here, similar to the tower defense games, just click on the unit you wanna deploy and everything goes by themselves. The only supportive items and stationary units allow us to choose their place to be. Also, which is important, all soldiers consume our pip limit. That indicates how much of troops can be set on battlefield in the same time. If one of our soldiers will be taken down, slot will be available for another unit. And our army by fighting acquire experience. Thanks to it, we'll be leveling up and for every level more we're gonna get combat points. That allows us to change size of pip limit and not only because we can also upgrade our army within battle. Every unit have additional boosts or abilities that we'll use once we get them upgraded. The last thing is money. Because of the units, we need money. <laughs> and especially by upgrading pip limit, often money will be more problem than the same limit. As we play over time, we'll get like 5 bucks per few seconds. But often it's not enough. But there is two options to solve the problem, and 
to be honest, even three options, but the third one is kind of tricky. First is to spend combat points on cash button. For every point, you will get amount of cash that is set near the cash button. And yes, you can upgrade the cash button to generate more cash by pressing on it. You will just spend combat points of increasing the number of possible cash to get. So, if you don't know how to spend combat points, you can spend on it. Second option is to take with you on battlefield support of items that generates cash. For example, oil barrels or an old derrick, a stationary unit. All barrels would generate some amount of cash every time we click it, but it's have cooled them before next click. But instead, all Derrick, as we place it on battlefield, would generate cash flow over time. The third option is risky, because as your enemy will be too close to your base, you'll be able to use red emergency button, which basically locks for like two minutes one of your pip limit slot and give you some cash bonus instead. Good thing is to manage your time. Because above battlefield panel we have bar that indicates what our enemies will do. Red parts of bar indicates that enemy will spawn troops after troops. Green as opposite gives you more time to attack. And also there are yellow stripe bars. As that time enemy will spawn strongest units it can. So at the beginning it can be easy thing to forget. But in later playthrough this can be key to your strategy. And the last thing is that this bar have cycles. After reaching its end, cycle starts over again, but enemy troops will be stronger. There is also one bar that have important purpose. At map, where we choose which tile of island we wanna be next on battlefield, above map window, we have bar that after every win is getting filled with red. It basically means that as it gets more red, enemies will be stronger and tougher to beat. So you can run straight to the final tile on the island and finish the enemy, or beat every one of fields to get more units, items and tech chips to upgrade your army. Because on map window we have few dots in left lower corner, that indicates on which islands we are. So if there is more dots, more islands we have to conquer, finish campaign. After you will get to main enemy field and beat him, map will grow bigger and you will get start over jumping from field to field again. So game can give you ton of fun if you like games like this, but after some time it can get repetitive. Of course, maps, units and challenges are different, but base of mechanic is the same. Still, even if that happened, all battles are quick, from few to like 50 minutes. So you can easily have quick sessions if you wait for something or somebody. A cool game it is, it's also not that expensive, because it's kinda cheap to be honest. You can check on the description, there will be a link, you can check the game, you can go to the Steam page, even buy this game and play it by yourself. And if you wanna more videos like this, don't forget to write in comments, I will be happy to read them. And thank you very much for your time. Subscribe if you want more videos, also like this. And see you later, bye.